What we have with Bitcoin is we have a model where Bitcoin is getting adopted uh, more and more and more in a very steady way, right? So you can see how many people have one Bitcoin, for example, right? And that number is also a power law with time. So the number of whole coiners is growing to the power of um, 1.4, as it turns out, okay? That, that's the, the, the power of... Uh, the, you can also look at how many people have $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. And that is growing to the power of four. So that's a power law, too. You can look at how many people have a million sats, okay? That's uh, roughly a power of three to the, uh, of, of, Bitcoin, of time. So there's all these power laws... Which indicate, which are stem from the fact that Bitcoin is getting adopted. Why? Because it's a better than gold. It's it's more movable than gold. It is um, more secure, securitizable than gold, and of course, it has the same hardness of gold. So you've got these three key assets that make Bitcoin a, a very useful product for many many people on this planet. And so because of that, overall, Bitcoin is growing and it's growing at, at this rate. And the price is also growing at a faster rate. Now, it may be the case that Metcalfe's law is also at work where the number of users is growing at, say, the cubed and then Metcalfe's law uh, takes that to the the squares that so that is the power is, is multiplied by two price is growing according to a power law and also hash rate is growing according to a power law and i think that's a very good mathematical model for how bitcoin is working today Extremely now well said. that that may that may change 20 years from now right it may change 10 years a lot of people have said fred the etf is going to change it this year and my and I'm said, listen, I'm going to be the, and change it to the upside, right? People are like, this ETF's going to like, we're going to go to a million dollars a year this year. Now, if that happens, great. All I can say is we've lived through 15 years of data and we're very, very tightly within this power law. Uh, I would say as a statistician, I'm, I'm saying unless I see otherwise, I have... I would expect the next 15 years to resemble the last 15 years. And if that's the case, I would expect Bitcoin to go up by 64 times <laughs> over the next 15 years. And that, that's, that's the number, right? So, so, and this is where it's very hard to get your head around, right? But in a power law, if you double the amount of time that you give the process, right? You don't double the, the price. So, you, you know, in another 15 years, you don't double the price from 64,000. What you do is you take the price to the sixth power, two to the sixth power of 64, uh, because we're, the power law is roughly a power of six. So, something like 30, somewhere between 32 and 64 times, uh, you know, that would be the statistical behavior of Bitcoin that we would expect in another 15 years. So it's amazing, right? Like if, and I believe, I believe that's probably roughly right, right? So do I believe it's exactly right? No, you know, it's a model, mm -hmm. but it gives you some mathematical framework to look at, to, to make some, some estimations as to where we think Bitcoin's gonna be. The critical part is that it is trending around a line, right? And uh, it has, the red area is two standard deviations above the line. The green area is one standard deviation uh, below the line, okay? And uh, that's just an observed behavior, right? So we've observed that it doesn't ever go below one standard deviation of the, of the below the line. Do you guys know what a standard, maybe I should say what a standard deviation is, right? So in a normal distribution, a normal distribution has two, is defined by two criteria. It's by, defined by its mean, its average, right? And its standard deviation. And here we have pattern, which is a, a mean, the mean is growing linearly with time, okay, uh, here. And the standard deviation is 
Right now it's 0.3 on this thing in log space. Um, and uh, what that means is that you can either go up by 10 to the power 0.3, which means it's a double, that's one standard deviation, or you can go down, you multiply by 10 to the power negative 0.3, which is equivalent to a, a, a cutting in two. So sort of over a year, the best way to think about this is we might double or we might go down by half in a year. Now, it's not the same to say over, over a long period of time, this thing tends to have some mean reversion to it, right? So if you're at one of these kind of bubble peaks, you have a higher probability of correcting back down towards the middle. So it's not sort of a memoryless process. It's a, it, it is a sort of a mean reverting process.